Hi, this is Irv Shapiro with Make with Tech. About four years ago, I retired from the corporate world, where I dealt with venture capital firms and boards of directors and hundreds of employees. And I started a YouTube channel for fun. To my surprise and to the delight of my grandchildren, it grew to over 5 million views. So I started a community site, a discussion forum for my viewers. It grew to thousands of members. Recently, I've upgraded makewithtech.com to improve the content there. But that's not enough. You see, people with 3D printers, they need things to print. And you can go to wonderful sites like Thingiverse or Printables or Corality Cloud or My Mini Factory, and you can download things to print, but they're static. You really can't change them. You can't modify them. Let's say you want a shelf bracket where one leg is much longer than the other. If you can't find that on the site, you're out of luck, unless you know how to use computer-aided design, which is scary and complex. Well, at Make With Tech, we've solved all those problems. We've created a site that works differently. Instead of selecting a model, you select a template, and then you enter into the screen parameters for that template, and generate a custom model, custom to your needs. And what's even more exciting is it works with both templates on Makewatech and the old Thingiverse customizer models. Now here on the homepage, you can scroll through and learn about the different things you can do here at models.makewatech.com. The first thing I wanna introduce is the idea that you can search for models both within the model's environment or at Thingiverse. So all of those open SCAD models on Thingiverse are now customizable again with a real-time customizer. The second thing you can do is you can create your own models. So if you do know open SCAD, which is like a programming language for 3D objects, you can create your own models. And you'll see you can do it right on the website. You don't have to download any software. And the third thing is that if you're a creator and you create models, when people download their models, they can leave you a tip on buy me a coffee. So you can actually earn some money for creating models. Now let's get started and jump right in. Let's begin by searching for a model. I can click on search here or in the top menu bar. And all of the entries in the top menu bar have descriptions on them. So I'm gonna click on search and I can see models which are templates. These are things I can customize. And there are a lot of them. They go on for pages and pages and pages. Now I also could search for a particular model by just typing a phrase in the top up here. Or I could look at the latest models that have been posted by creators on the web to the site. Now, in order to use any of these models, I need to sign into the product. Anybody can register for the product. It's completely free. Your registration will be free forever. If you choose to have more storage or use certain advanced features, then you can subscribe as a paid subscriber. Everything I'm showing you today is available to anyone with a free registration. So all you need to do to create an account is click on login and then click on create an account. I already have an account, so I'm going to enter my account here. I'm going to enter my password and sign in to my existing account. Now, you'll see on the sign in page that I am not a premium subscriber in this account. I have no subscription active. So this is a completely free account. So let's go back to search and I'm going to select this L bracket that I wanna work with. Perhaps I wanna use it as a shelf bracket, make it bigger, or I wanna reinforce a cabinet. So I'll start with this L bracket. Now I can click on 
3D and see a 3D rendering of that bracket. If there are additional pictures available for that bracket, when I click on photos here, I'll see multiple views of that bracket. I could download the source code, the actual template, the open SCAD code of that bracket. I can leave a comment for the creator. And if I am the creator, I can click on the creator tools and I can modify that template so that it will do new things. But I'm not the creator of this template. So I'm gonna to go to the customizer. To go to the customizer, you click on this little box here or you click on the model picture. You'll see the pictures, you'll see instructions that were left by the creator. Now, this is one of my favorites. So I've clicked on the heart here and on the search screen, I can then search for my favorites. Now, let's click on parameters here. I can take and I can change all of these attributes of this model. If I click on preview, I'll see what the model currently looks like. So let's take and change this. Let's make it much longer. So um, let's make it 100 millimeters long. So if we just click on preview here, we'll see it's now 100 millimeters long. But these holes seem to be in the wrong place. Let's move them over. So let's go back to our parameters and see if there's a parameter for the distance of the holes. Well, here's the distance of the holes. first hole. We'll make that 20. And we'll make them 80 apart because it's 100 millimeters in total. We want two on the ends. So if I click on preview my model, ah, I made it a little too far because it was 80 plus the 20, that's 100. I put it all the way at the end. So you can see how you would customize a model. I want it 60 over, not 80. Preview the model. And now we have our bracket ready to go. Now, once you have defined the bracket the way you want it, you can, if you're a subscriber, you can save those parameters so you can reuse them later. But anybody can come back as often as they'd like and create new variations of a model, and then they queue them for rendering. So now this model has been sent off to open SCAD to be created into a model we can download. See the pop-up on the screen here? That means it's already done. This is not like the old Thingiverse we were used to. So I'm going to dismiss this. If it hadn't been done yet, if it wasn't complete, I could see it here in the processing queue. Since it is done, I can go right to my results. And I can see here my L bracket. I can look at my variation that I created on the screen. Now, I didn't have to know anything about programming. I didn't have to know anything about computer-aided design. I was able to customize this. Now I can download this model. And you'll see here that Arnell is the creator of this model and I have an opportunity to leave him a tip. I don't have to, but it's a nice thing to do. Now there is a limited number of models that you can keep in your results bucket if you're not a subscriber, but you can always just um, delete models you don't need anymore, such as that one there. You can look at any of the other models you've already rendered, come back and download them. So if you'd like to have an unlimited list of the models you've already rendered, you've created, well, just subscribe. As a subscriber, you also have access to a detailed log viewer. This will show you exactly what happened each time one of your models was created. And this is really there for the creators of the models, for the programmers, because it has information many of us have no desire to ever look at. So that's the basic customization capability. But there's more, because you're not limited to models at Makewitech. Models at Makewitech will be optimized for our environment. And they're going to get 
include many features that you can't get in the old Thingiverse customizer. But there's still a lot of models on Thingiverse. Why shouldn't you use them? Well, if you click on the T here, you'll go to Thingiverse. If you click on the T here, you'll actually go to the Thingiverse site and see the model on their site. But if you click on the model name, you'll see the files that are part of that model. You can preview those files. You can click on the customizer icon, and guess what? Now you're in the customizer. And so I could say that I want to create part one for printing. I could see what that actually looks like. And there you go. So you can use the models that make a tech customizer, both with models from Thingiverse and models that we are creating locally. But there's more. If you're interested in how this all works, well, you can take any model and you can click on the pencil and you'll get a warning message if you're not a subscriber. You can go ahead and continue. This is just to remind you that subscribers help support the platform. And this is actually the OpenSCAD program that created that model. If you are a programmer, you can actually modify this. Now you can't replace a model someone's already published, but you could create a new model from it. Likewise, and I'm gonna show you something that's a lot of fun. If you wanna create a model from scratch, you just click on the pencil on the top. As an example, I could say I want a cube that's 25 millimeters. That's the programming language OpenSCAD. I could click on preview and I can see my cube. But let's say I wanna create something and I really don't know how to get started. Well, there's this new phenomena, which is generational AI. Uh, many people are familiar with the open AI offering. Well, we've integrated that into models.makewithtech.com. Click on the AI experiment here, and then you can type in instructions to chat GPT telling it what you'd like to create. Well, I've given you a sample here, so let's load the sample. You always have to tell it to create an open SCAD program to place a red cube on top of a green cube. Okay, let's give it a try. Now, depending on the load on the servers, it'll take a bit of time. I'd say it only produces a workable model about 10 or 20% of the time. And uh, this uh, might be interesting. Let's see what it did. So we're gonna click on preview here. And not exactly what I had in mind, but we do have a red cube. And in this case, a yellow cube, it did not make the other one green. So to summarize, models.makewithtech.com lets you pick from hundreds and hundreds of templates that are optimized for our platform or from thousands of templates on Thingiverse and customize them. If you want to create your own templates, you can do that with the pencil because there's an open SCAD development environment built right into the platform. If you create models offline in the open SCAD tool, you can upload those to the platform. Models that are currently generating are in the queue. You can see your results here. And there's a wonderful, wonderful set of help that explains many of the things that I just covered. So folks, I hope you find this helpful. My goal is to create an overall environment at Make With Tech where we all can learn together.